I spill rocket, we are all being more careful about what we switch on. But there is one part of society which doesn't have a choice. Being disabled is expensive. Just doing normal things costs more. The cost of living crisis has thrown this into sharp focus. This is not a luxury. We have a lot of stuff that needs charging. Suzanne Crosby looks after her daughter Mia at their home in Brighton. Mia has Rett syndrome and has multiple impairments. Suzanne told me her bills have gone up 70% and it is impossible to cut back anymore. We have a smart meter and we just it, it, we go past our budget on that after four days out of every seven. You know, you can watch the smart meter if you turn everything off apart from the fridge and the freezer and the smart meter will still be ticking over with all the nine pieces of equipment that she actually needs um, in the house, um, which is just it was so worrying. It's, it's so worrying when you can just see the figures rolling. An extra one-off disability cost of living payment worth £150. In his cost of living statement, the Chancellor announced a flat payment of £150 to disabled people. It is on top of other payments to those on benefits. In Stirling, 13-year-old Freya Hunter needs round-the-clock care. Her mother, Carolyn, says the extra government money is a temporary patch. It's not going to touch my my bills because my bills are um, my bills are something in the region of six thousand a year. So um, four hundred pounds isn't going to really make much of a difference. Everything together is just, it's not affordable. There's a lot of talk about levelling up, but campaigners say it seems a long way off. Our analysis at Scope show that on average, disabled people face a extra cost of £583 a month. £150 isn't going to touch the sides for many disabled people who are worrying about higher energy bills and higher energy usage this winter. And for those on the front line, there is a sense of abandonment. Because somebody has a disability and somebody needs to be looked after and somebody needs to look after them, they shouldn't be living in poverty because of that. They should be supported because effectively we are supporting the NHS and social care. We're all so busy and so tired doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing, like caring for our loved ones. We're all so tired that we, we don't really have a voice enough to be able to um, shout as much as we really should be. A wheelchair isn't a nice to have. A ventilator or a hoist are not optional extras. They are essential pieces of kit for many disabled people. So, with predictions on inflation as they are, our current anxieties are totally justified. <laughs>